Welcome to the Rift Breaker. I'm your host, Brothgar, and today we're going to be playing the campaign mode. I was reading your guys' comments and you said you kind of wanted to see some big brain playthrough of the Rift Breaker. So I'm going to do my best. No promises that I'm going to be a genius, but as you have already seen, we started off here. I've already made a spreadsheet. Ranges, damages, DPS, strategies. All right, so I'm gonna be playing on brutal mode. I've already beaten it on normal. Figured I might as well just skip hard and go right to ridiculous. Uh, hmm. Not sure if that's a good choice or not, but let's see what happens here. I got strategies, I mean seriously. I got numbers over here. Yeah. All right, just a heads up, there's gonna be a lot of talking that the game is doing. Uh, I will probably pause a lot to let the dialogue happen. I could mute it, but then I might miss important stuff. Ooh, starting off right next to the green goop. Lucky me. All systems check. Gravitational strength, 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way galaxy. Sycorax belt. Planet Galaxy yeah, 37. Bud. Ashley. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. All right, we've got a humdinger of a spot right here. Ooh, we got mud up above and slime down below. That's gonna be really good for us. Our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. All right, so uh, the things I was talking about here is I'm just kind of getting started. I've got carbonium Ash, mining that's going I'm on sure up above. I'm going to replace that with some we better mines. Uh, sorry, possible. power generation once I kind of get there. This is just a tiny Standard little iron ore deposit. I'm going to want more than that, but However, it's a good start. I don't as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate. That's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? 
Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses. Just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. All right, so it's two wind turbines for one miner right here. That just to give you a heads up. So that's like 20 power, and each one of these is going to be 12. So I should have about four extra power each time I'm doing this. So the goal here is to get up enough uh, carbonium just to kind of build up our power plant here. What I like to do is put my power right next to where I'm mining it. That way, if it gets cut off, it keeps running. I don't ever like to run out of resources. I'm also going to replace this miner over here. Uh, it's just a good way to get 50 power early on. But uh, another thing we're going to slap down here pretty soon is... Uh, now's a good time to do it. Just the plant biomass thing. You can't see it right now, but if I go into this part right here, you should be able to see plant somewhere. Gosh, I don't know where it is. But I do have plant resources, plant biomass. That'll actually generate a fair amount of power. So I can go ahead and sell that now, now that I have enough coming in. And we can put down another carbonium factory right there. So that's going to give me five miners right there, a total of five per second, it should be. Unless they run a little faster. No, there it is. Now I'll go ahead and upgrade this. Now I don't want to get killed by the enemy, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Usually the first wave is just kill it with your mech. Not a big deal. One, two, three, four... So that's enough power to sustain that. The next thing I like to do here is to put down a couple more, and that'll give me enough to run towers and a little AI unit. So that is this thing right here. This takes 20 power. The reason I like to do that is because that allows me to put down three towers. Each one of these can become their own little cells, self-defending themselves. Uh, however, since we are in Brutal, this might change the scale of what I've normally done. I usually just put about three towers. I might have to do a lot more uh, because the waves, are, <laughs> per the description, are pretty big in Brutal. So, we'll see. Let me go ahead and just put down a power cell right here. That's, again, pretty good. And I need power for that. And now I can go ahead and put down the towers. Now... For these, I like to have overlapping... Gosh, that was a meteorite. <laughs> um, overlapping fields of fire. But I can get attacked usually from the edges of the map. So putting towers in towards uh, the center of your base right here isn't really necessary. You can think of the flow coming from the outside of the map towards you. So better to have towers out here and probably on the bottom, and then over here on the left. And since we're actually going to get attacked out here first, an then I go ahead and do that. To craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other useful items. And it will Walls are pretty easy to put down. We can go ahead and drag them out just yes, like this. That is an important building. And one very important thing is to give myself a way to jump to this. So if I press M and I jump like that, then I can teleport between the two. Since I give myself a point up there. Oops. There we go. I can jump right back to it. All right. Next thing. Since I'm building up a lot of stuff, I need to be able to store it. It's going to be useful for all sorts of things. Um... Upgrades are expensive, and I don't want to run out of resources. Plus, when I go to manufacture a lot of ammo in a big fight, I want to have stuff in the bank. Now, I probably want some more iron. So let's go ahead and do another one of these. That's a little bit more of a significant deposit right there. Not too worried about the two little spots right there. That's extra power that I could be using for something else. I think I'm getting attacked by something big. Yeah, geez, hello. <laughs> That's a pretty serious enemy right off the bat. Okay. If I hold down left click, 
I can place these at the maximum range. That's a pretty handy little tip. Okay, so now I probably want some more sentinel towers right down here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Place that down and enough power for Not it. Enough carbonium. Mm. Our flow of carbonium's not that great. I will complete the mission. Next bit of dialogue. Okay, these sentinel towers should keep us safe, so we can focus on expanding our base further. So slow. I'm gonna go find some more carbonium. Things like this liquid, the enemies don't want to run through it. So that is real handy to have by my base. Plus, it's an access to liquid, which I'm going to be using for a lot of things. Um, I can get water out of mud. And I can get fire fuel, basically, out of uh, the slime, the sludge. A little, little ways down towards the tech tree, but... It looks like our presence has been noticed. Base defenses should be strong enough to hold them back. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Why not attack me from this side? <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Slap down some towers real quick here. Here they come. I have damage types and stuff turned on numbers so we can see that. These guys only have like 5 HP, so they're just. they melt. I can hold shift, and that is my skill. You have different skills you can get. And if I hold left click, then I kind of run with the blade like that. I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Yeah, we're just gonna kill everything. <laughs> wishful thinking. <laughs> she has lots of wishful thinking. Uh, no, no. There will be lots of death and murder. You don't think this is gonna be some sort of eco friendly it looks mission like we here. Have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Wind speed projection is returning back to statistically normal values. Wind turbines are back at nominal power levels. 
All right, for the layout on my base here, what I'm going to be doing is uh, trying to work on kind of a little bit bigger grid. So try to, ooh, I already have the decorations. <laughs> These came from my other playthrough. Um, but essentially, uh, give myself a little bit of room in between buildings, about four tiles or so. And by doing that, I'll ensure that I have a good amount of space in case I need to move things around, uh, convey things around. Uh, or replace certain buildings with bigger buildings. So, for example, I want to do a lot of power. I've got a good spot to defend right here. But I'm going to go ahead and say, let's make a little wind farm. This stuff's really good to generate power early on. So that's going to be an 8x8. Whoops, let's just screw it up. I'll go ahead and put that down. Darn it. Going the wrong way. There we go. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. All right, so that's a good amount of power right there. So long as it's running, I'm gonna want to have a lot of storage just in case I run out of power as well. So that's gonna be batteries. Can I put them in the wrong spots? This down here, this is all going to get replaced eventually once I dig it up. It won't take too long for it to disappear. I'm going to go ahead and bring that one back. Okay, before we get too carried away here, let's go ahead and try to upgrade this. Oh, you know what? Let's keep going out there and getting back more carbonium. The more I can dig up, the faster I can go. Um, and, I don't, and I don't want this playthrough to be too long. I'd like to actually move through it nice and fast. Keep the action flowing. Not turtle as... Try to turtle as little as possible. Oh, by the way, there's a couple of things I wanted to do here. Fancy new skin. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And I also notice that that thing's able to attack me from off screen. You kind of... These are ranged creatures. They don't necessarily do that, but sometimes a lot of the action is happening just off the edge of the screen. I'm going to do something to modify the camera just a little in a bit here. I do have an armor now, so I can actually go ahead and use this weapon. I'll generate more ammo for it. You don't want to melee those guys. They blow up. I could hurt you. Hit me. I think I hurt you too. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. So, to adjust the camera, what I'm going to do is camera distance. I'm going to change that to 11. And then camera enable zoom one. And then when I zoom on out to the maximum range, I get just a little bit more range. This is actually in line with what I would be seeing if I was playing on my ultra wide monitor, which I absolutely would be doing for a game like this. But every time I do something like that and upload it to YouTube, I get accused of adding black bars to the top and bottom of the video, which is not true, but <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't wanna read a bunch of those comments again. And have to explain it. No, it's just aspect ratio. You know. You see that we do have some nasty enemies up here. These ones are passive. They don't actually attack me right off the bat. Unless you get too close. Then they get uh, aggravated. I try to leave a little bit of an air gap between the wall and my buildings. Uh, the things that like to launch at me. And... and 
those uh, kind of the ball dudes. I don't know the name of them exactly, but they have a splash effect that happens with them, so. Now, I don't actually need to build the AI cores out here. Uh, I can build those back at my main base where I have more power. And the AI is just a global resource, so that's kind of handy. So I'll actually keep that away from this. and upgrade this headquarters upgrade in progress this will attract a lot of no 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 ah! <laughs> defenses as much as we can things are going to get very hot very soon I didn't mean to do that but ah, geez I pressed it again this little stand right here allows me to get up and shoot over the wall so it's pretty handy to have down. Uh, the annoying bit is that they're very easy to just get destroyed. So they're not all that great. I have to rebuild them a bunch. The same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us. Hey, Mr. Grumpy. Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended, are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rift Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Ho! Ho ho! Alright. One of the things I like to do is just put a turret next to each gate. Gates are actually a little bit weaker than your normal walls. Mm, slightly. Not that the enemy actually targets it, but just been something I like to do just like that. And then I space it out from there. Kind of helps just... Helps me plan out my defenses. Although I'm going to try a lot of different things here. For example, since I'm probably going to get attacked from right here, let's go ahead. I can sense the ground shaking. And I do estimate this. a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. So they should attack this, we'll kind of focus in on that one spot, and if I go ahead and build a building right back here, then I should have three, many towers that can hit this one spot. I think they'll try to attack that one spot over there. Or they can go to the other side. Unless I run on over here and attract them. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. All right, so now I could do a little bit of research here. Well, I can't. <laughs> what I can do is build the research station. We should start then I can do some research. Blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Communications hub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here, I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the rift station is operational and the rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. 
So I've noticed the creatures in this mode that are just kind of wandering around are actually a, a fair bit tougher than the ones I would normally be fighting. And wind speed. A fog is forming up. Let's just go ahead and make this kind of watertight. I like to think of the enemy a bit like water. They like to flow into your base. They have some cracks, you might have some issues. Fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Yeah, fog. Let me zip on down here and get rid of those towers that were over here. And zip on back. Oh. So here's a good example where I'll get attacked a whole lot. Right, so let's just do this. Oops, I would put one more right there, but I don't have enough for it. If I zoom the camera in, I might be able to see what I'm doing a little better there. That's normally something you can't do in the game. <laughs> zoom the camera. It's kind of cool that you can get a close-up of certain things. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. All right, let's take a look at our research. Now we've got a ton of things that we can do. Detecting cobalt is a really good one. Well, it's going to allow us to upgrade things. Orbital scanners, really what I'm here for. That's the mission. Um, probably the most important building is the repair building, uh, at least for the first objective. Uh, after that, something like ammo storage is good because that's going to give us access to the more advanced towers. And we are going to be attacked by things with range beyond our original sentinel towers. So that is probably priority number two, with this being priority number three. Cobalt handling, and then that. Although, my mech is also quite a bit more powerful than a lot of the towers I'm going to be dealing with. So, I think a flamethrower would be good. Take a look at our power here. So the solar panels are real good for generating a lot of power during the day. Obviously, they don't work at night, but um, if you combine them with batteries, it's a pretty good way to build up a good amount of extra juice. Early on, I think a lot of my base here is going to be dedicated to just generating power. I'm also going to have multiple layers of base in case I start to lose things that are, you know, they break through a wall and I just start having a really bad day. Now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective. Constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. No, you're not joking. <laughs> it is big. You really want me to build this right now. I mean, it's just... Okay. Okay, you can see what it takes there. A thousand carbonium, a thousand iron. Ironium. Um, 
that is actually, ooh, that's good that I have both of these liquid sources here and this. Actually, it'd probably be really good to have this right on over here. It's kind of a, an annoying thing to defend. But let's be real here, if I'm real with you, this is, my whole base is gonna be like, <laughs> it's going to grow. I'm actually gonna focus on a little bit more defense around some of my key resources right now. I'm probably going out there and getting even more. I can build that thing, but um, it's not gonna do me a lot of good without the research that I need, which is really the next thing. Orbital scanner is really gonna allow me to go beyond where I'm at into the next planets, and that's what I'm trying to get to by the end of this episode. So that's my primary goal. It's mostly just that. We're gonna build so many of these AI hubs. They're just gonna be everywhere. most likely now I'm planning that I'm, I'm pretty much gonna have to run out there and do a lot of things oh man we got some poop throwers moving in on me don't throw your poop on me that's gross Aren't these things lovely? Look at them. Mmm, delicious. This is actually a pretty good spot to defend from here. We've got the liquid, we've got a couple of uh, big rocks. I can do good, some, some good funneling here. think about that if they want to come in here ooh, I could set up towers blast them blast them I like that that's a that's a smart spot to remember mm -hmm. got another one of these dudes and some scrub there we go Bitters. These guys shoot acid at you. These are the ones that can do a lot of damage to your base early on. Besides the bog guys that shoot those like yellow orb thingies. Those spitters, they can they can get you at just enough range if you set your towers back far enough. Or there's someone like this soaking up all the damage. Yeah, you get attacked away like a wave like this. But you have those spitters behind it. They could pretty easily break through the wall. Looking for more resources, there should be some around here. Big field I have down here. 
All of these maps are procedurally generated, so sometimes you get really good maps. Sometimes you get ones that are a little bit weird. Like if you're in the cliffs, there's you're kind of restricted all the time. My base is under attack. Um, let me just zip on up there, see, make sure it's not poop throwers. about one. Gosh, I gotta go this far just for iron? Ah, geothermal vent. Good. Say hello to the mine. Oh, he did. But you killed it before it went off. this down real quick. If I can keep this smaller, then the tower should have an easier job defending it. The wind is picking up speed. A little green symbol you're seeing right there, that means I don't have anywhere to put the other thing. All right, I might as well just go ahead and build this thing. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Marshall. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak, you were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual, you are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the Extraterrestrial Science Corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are des- Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Let's go ahead and just use that up there. Alright, so I am going to try to make use of this little bit of spot right here. I like it. I like those. I like anywhere I can do with this funnily fun thing right here. See that? Boom, boom. Dead, dead, super dead. Anything that comes through there. I like that. Nice juicy wall to try to attack. Good deal. I like doing double walls just like this as well. That's real good. Although I don't want to affect the range, maximum range of this stuff. Like so, let me do that. That the reason I like doing this because you can go just like that. And then, if you really want to get fancy with it, you can do this. So now, in a big fight, you can hop in here. Shoot them up, and your towers are backing you up. 
good stuff. I don't want that to be shooting, trying to shoot through a rock here. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Ooh, Rift Station another ones. before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The Fusion Field Accelerator requires enriched uranium. The Hyperparticle Condenser requires palladium. And the Quantum Gate Stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. I've already got it queued up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. Um, not sure what I was going for there. Words, words have gone, gone away from me. But you can see what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, this is, this is delicious. I like this right here. Oh yeah, this is, whoops. I want to do that. And then I can turn around and, oh, oh, we can just do this. Anything that comes from up here is just going to be wrecked. Go ahead and just sell this stuff. I'm going to move it around. We can craft some new weapons. That's a good idea. The enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need better guns. I don't know what I'm doing over there. If you see me <laughs> constructing, then rebuilding a dozen times, yeah, it's just gonna happen. But hey, look at this. All right. So now, I have small machine guns, shotguns, ooh, that's gonna be real good. Thank you. Let's go to my inventory. Slap that shotgun on there. Thank you. Now let's take a look at my research. Nice, got the repair facility already done. That See, that requires cobalt though, so I'm gonna need my scanner, which I think I've already done. That is... Cobalt handling, hang on, let me move that to the top here. Now that you've crafted some new equipment, don't forget to change my loadout and weapon configuration. You sound different, dude. <laughs> Every once in a while you get like an audio track from a what I think was a different voice actor. Alright, so let's go on a hunt for some more resources. I really just want to get more flow. I'm not worried about the total amounts right now. I just want to bring it in. Ooh, invisible guys. How do you like my shotgun? <laughs> yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Hey, guys. Boom! Oh, yeah, you can charge this up. Or you can just kind of blast it like that. That works, too. Power. That's three, so I need six. And then I have plenty of AI cores. Let's see if we got any defendable features here. Oh, this is not a rock. Mm, looks like a rock, but it's not a rock here. Let's zoom in on it. See that? Hello. <laughs> 
How are you doing today, sir? You're a little grumpy. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, oh, crap. I just realized you're resistant to physical attacks. And you know what I don't have? This is the only energy gun I got. It's gonna take a while. Stop hitting my building. Now, if I look over at my chart, I can tell you what this guy's range is for his attack. Except for there's a calculator on top of my chart, so I can't read it right now. Oh, wait, there it is. 12 tiles. So he actually has a range of 24. In case you're wondering, the range for this stuff is, is actually 2 per tile. I don't know why, but it's, it's the way it is. Mud monsters. Great. Poop throwers. No, yeah, give it more power. Oh, wait, I got shock. Oh wait, we're getting, we're waking up the locals here. Okay. Not too bad. Let's just go ahead and fix this. Now we'll see just how brutal, brutal waves really are here. Let's see if I made a horrible choice. So far though, I'm building up a crap ton of towers. I'm hardly even into this game. This is kind of a big base out here. Where you repair, by the way. Go back to HQ. Pick up a little health. See what the wave is doing. Don't have explosive weapons just yet. If I had to guess, I would think that I'm gonna get hit from here a little bit more. Let's try to do that liquid out there. You actually don't need to deconstruct stuff to put the gate in. It'll actually refund it for you. You can also put upgraded buildings right down over stuff like that. This one's already mined up its resource. A lot of these outposts out here are just going to be temporary things. Matter of fact, this one might even get attacked. doing this in case I need to build some towers I'll move that stuff in a minute here once I know where you're coming from ah yes bring it on enemies Oh, 
Oh, this isn't too bad. Squish. Oh, there's more of them. No, wait, that's the same one. They just went back. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Let's keep looking for stuff out here. It's a geothermal vent. I just actually unlocked the scanner, so I want to go find some cobalt if I can. Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. Ha, ah, what do we got here? Come on, Cobalt. This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Now, I am building up a lot of towers, but these are, um, are not going to be enough to save a base like this if we get a nice strong wave. Mostly because the range to which enemies can attack me will kind of make those towers. They just don't have they don't have range for the real long stu long range stuff, so i got to be mindful of that. Plus, I can also get attacked from more than one spot at a time. That's where things get really difficult. I think that's where we're going to end up with food. Plus, I want to put some batteries down. I need to make sure I'm doing that. When I get cobalt, I'll actually be building the repair tower. I just haven't found that yet. Now, I am mining up a ton of carbonium. Like, I'm just going crazy on this. But that's <laughs> that's basically because I'm just waiting for the research. Um, I could just be building lots of power, but I'll, I'll get into that in just a moment. I just want to make sure I have the resource flow. I might be investing a little bit too much into it, though, at this point. Okay, so I can go ahead and build up a lot more power. Where else do I want to build out here? I've got all of this. <laughs> I have no use for anything down here. No plans for anything up here. Let me just move that stuff real quick. Be a ton of AI cores. It's kind of a bit of a vulnerable to put possible. that much stuff there. But you can see how having this flow 17 in, I can just keep building this stuff fast. It's gonna put a massive draw on my grid. Not a 
Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Come on now. Not enough carbonium. Add solar power over here. Nothing that I know of spawns out of the mud, so it should be all right. Just power in here as much as I can. There we go. Whacked on the power <laughs> this early on in the game. <laughs> And uh, of course. All right. Well. Um. Come on now. My poor power grids are already wondering what to do. Why are you not charged? Sorry, devs. I broke your game somehow. I have. Power, lots of power. And yet my game thinks I don't have power. Uh, no, no, power's, power is, um, what have I done? How do I fix this one? <laughs> you need more storage? No? Let's see if I can run power back to my base and see if that somehow magically fixes. You're killing the game. Something something went wrong there. Maybe don't fill the map with wind generators. Possibly. Maybe there's some sort of limit to just how far power can run through buildings. You can, I think, transfer power directly through buildings. Like sticking them right next to each other. Uh, same thing with resources, you can do that. Of course, I might have just gone too, too hard in the turbine here. Huh, what is going on here? Why have I, why do I have negative 53? Sentinel, <sighs> Never had this issue last time. All right, well, whatever. Maybe I'll just hold off on going a little bit too crazy with this stuff. Everything okay? We're not freaking out? Okay, I think we're okay. Hmm, that was weird. All right, well, I think I passed it now, so now let's move on to a little bit of storage here. Oh, I already got some down here. We can start to angle buildings and do some kind of neat things. We can also do some floor tiles. Looks like I've, <laughs> I've actually got some fancy floor tiles um, from my other playthrough. Nice. Create this nice little walkway here. It does depend on how big your blocks are to how big the squares end up on the ground. So, if you're looking for a certain type of texture or you want to lay out a grid in a particular way, it's important to keep that in mind. I want this to be kind of a main pathway that I'll be running along. Do some nice things here. See that? See how nice that flows? Oh yeah. Like it was meant to be. Here, you guys thought I was just putting things down randomly. I kind of was, but don't worry about it. Got fancy blue lights I could put down. These are almost hard to look at, but they're fancy. Look at that. Do they consume power? Yes, yes they do.
I don't know who is asking that question, but yes. <laughs> this is not live streamed, by the way. I'm talking to you as a voice in my head. Don't worry about it, I'm only slightly crazy. All right, so there we go. Isn't that nice? That's nice, I like that. I'm not a big fan of that blue light. I mean, it's cool, but it's hard to look at. No, in particular. All right, there we go. What's next on the menu here? Research completed. Flamethrower. Yeah, baby. Let's build that up. Oh, I got the, uh, the other stuff too. Okay, floating mines are really, really powerful. But they're kind of hard to use. Completed. The weapon that is just really good is this Rapping grenade launcher. Completed. It's not the most interesting weapon, but it's... It is very good. Crafting and the completed. flamethrower is just amazingly fun, so... Let's go ahead and craft some more armor for myself. Let's go to the inventory, slap that on, give myself a little extra health over here. Put down floating mines. Um, and a grenade launcher is usually pretty good to go. That energy weapon is kind of suck, so let's put a flamethrower over there. And, oh, I already have gravity mines. <laughs> Again, I unlocked these from a uh, different playthrough, don't worry. They're just cool, all right? Sorry. I got, there's spoilers already in this game, whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to using some cool stuff. Power on the left, lights on the right. Cool. All right, let's go see if I can find one of these things that I was actually, where I'm actually getting some of these unique weapons from. Um, then you could just be like, oh yeah, he picked them all up from the same tower thing. Oh, you're resistant to explosions. Aren't you? But not to flamethrowers. Eh, One of the options you can set up uh, lets you see the damage type, by the way. Really good. These guys don't like fire, so. Good. I don't like you, spitters. Yes, we're saving this planet. Mmm. I think it's hard to win the hearts and minds of the alien wildlife with a flamethrower in your hands. It could be worse. We could be holding nukes. Oh, the invisible guys. I heard him. It's resistant to like everything I have. I'm gonna have to throw that energy weapon back on. Oh wait, no you're not. Oh, hold on. I gotta survive these guys first. Actually, I got these gravity mines here. Hey, come poke on that thing. <laughs> hey. So that is a basically a grenade on the ground. But it also does damage over time. This is a mine. I have another mine skill here. There it goes. Boom. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. This is what I was talking about. This thing right here. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. So when I mine this thing, I can get some special stuff out of it. Ooh, those are 
<laughs> That's some high tier stuff already. Okay. No, no, you don't see me. You don't see me. Okay. Things are gonna get awfully busy. Ooh, 11 seconds. That's not gonna work. Ah! Every time you go to mine those, a bunch of things will come attack you. We gotta be careful of this plant. That stuff blows up on you. Alright. Now that I fought off that wave, I should be able to mine in peace. Unless these guys decide to come on over here. Maybe not. Squish. Ooh, dash with fire. How the rain nice. is over. Burn with fire. <laughs> Let's go take a look at that new skill. So that's this right down here. If I go to crafting. <laughs> I still have all <laughs> still have all my stuff from the other one. Okay, well I guess that we can play around with all sorts of stuff. Um, but no, dash with fire. That's probably why I wasn't finding those. Crap, cobalt. Don't have cobalt. Let's go find some cobalt. No, no, don't mind me. More iron. Hey, you know what you guys need to experience? I guarantee it's a good time. Come on over here. Come on, little spitter. Here, I won't even set you on fire, okay? Why aren't you getting angry at me? What's wrong with you? Let me murder this guy. There you go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alien soup. Hearts and minds. We're good. Alright, dude. We're downloading what I need, by the way. So, right now, this is just me technically looking for cobalt. Yeah. me around. There you go. This is what I need to be doing. Just following that.
Hey, these guys are dropping cobalt. Oh, thank you. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's what I was talking about. I know you were just sleeping there, but, uh... <laughs> we're all tough enemy. <laughs> I feel like I'm making this game look easy. <laughs> Oh, there's more up here. That's why. Oh, they killed me. I caught a spit. I dropped my grenade launcher. Darn it. All right. Well, see, I can die. I got a little overconfident. That's why. You know, it's how you then. My bad. I'll just go get it back. This isn't a good spot. Look at that. I'll set that up. Mm, actually, you know what? No, I'll set that up right now. And then I'll mess with the little, uh, basically the alien chest right there. Put down a little power. advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Ashley, my sensors are picking up an underground cobalt deposit nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map. We should go there and search for it with the geo scanner. It's not that close, really. We should craft some better equipment before we try to venture out that far. Yeah, so, spoiler alert, I kind of already did that. But, um, yeah, we'll go pick up some of that cobalt. Sure. Just after I poke this thing. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't see that guy there. Hey! Hey! Please don't. I'm getting attacked up top. See that? Oh, oh thank you. Let's grab it again. Look at that blender. Mm. <laughs> uh. Now that you've got practice with using the geo scanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants 
and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Alright, so now that we've completed that mission, we're going to get attacked again. I think we should be in good shape, though. If I had to guess where I'm going to get hit... Uh, it's not always clear, but sometimes it moves on you, but I think right here is... Looks like a... Looks like the place. So... There's no kill like overkill. And I have a repair tower, so that is real nice and lucky for me. That level simply just has one little drone goes around. Level two has, we can rank things up, level two will have three drones, and then level three has seven, making it very powerful. It doesn't repair super quick though, so it's not like it's or anything like that. Those buildings are a little bit set back. Well, might as well just add another layer then. AI course. Build more oh. AI hubs. Man, I'm mining up resources so Not fast. AI course. Build more it's, AI it hubs. just refills instantly. <laughs> Alright. I think I... I think I got enough mining operations at the moment. But I do need to construct the... this thing. But I'm a little limited on my storage at the moment. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle! come back to this. Where am I going to get hit from? No, no, not there. That's a passive enemy that just spawned in. Oh, tricky guys coming all the way down here, huh? Say hello to my flamethrower. realize this doesn't have the power it needs. Actually, can I set up a grenade on the back side of this? You know, for brutal mode, these waves aren't that big, at least not yet. I do think the difficulty will scale up quickly once I get beyond kind of this setup phase. Here's some fighting. Ah, these guys kind of get aggressive and they attack other creatures. Why don't you go after the poop monsters? Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Fire. There they go. Let's see here. Poop slingers. Cryo and energy are their weaknesses. I 
these guys don't like fire. Oh, we got a nasty one up there. But I know your weakness. This thing. Look at this thing. Oh, it spawns bees. Ugh. Good thing you don't like fire. Yeah, that one deserves to be killed with fire. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Hey, dudes. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. Let's go check out the nest down here. Oh good, more slime, that's good stuff. Oh, you know what, I was supposed to set up cobalt. Some of these things I'm putting down, they don't actually stay around long enough. Take a little bit to set up, there it goes. Oh, you know what? I never went back to get my grenade launcher. You can rebind your controls. That's actually one thing I've done down here. Put instant repair on one of my mouse buttons and this one here, which I should really switch to the gravity line. I think that's a lot easier than trying to reach up and hit the number of buttons. Yeah, look how powerful this grenade launcher is. <laughs> Hi. You're dead. You're dead. As long as you got ammo for it. Oh. You know what another thing I was supposed to do? head on over here and then we'll head on back here let me keep working on this quest one two three four yeah, I wish, it, wish it could be set if it was one bigger it'd be a little bit orbital well, oh, scanner well. construction is in progress but before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the alien research laboratory building. The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires multiple schematics in order to be built. Download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. Gosh, tier 3 monsters already? Yeah, I can see where they're talking about brutal. If they start throwing this stuff at my base, it's going to be a bad day for me.
harmless. As so long as you don't let them hit you. <laughs> All my shield in one hit. Oh, uh, I like that. I don't like this as much. Tell you what, don't know what's going to happen here. give myself a little bit of a fighting chance here in case something real nasty comes out of here. Though I kind of doubt it. Darn it. Didn't get it in one go. Nah, it's just kind of my goal to get it in one go. Not that I need to. There we go. Just set everything on fire. Bleh. Ooh. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. The wind is very slow today. The only thing about fire is it kind of hides their projectiles. Makes it hard, hard to see what's going on here. This is good. This feels more like the brutal I was expecting. Can't just mindlessly run through all of these enemies. Because they could hit me. And they, they do a lot enough damage, they can kill me easily. See that amount of ammo. So, depending on what I run into down here, a little bit careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna line this up real good. Up. Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal. Portal scanner construction finished. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. Burn this might be it. difficult. Yeah, they don't spawn out of that for whatever reason. Not sure why she says that every time. This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. So had I not killed that as soon as I did, uh, they would actually would have sent waves from that point at me that I would have to defend. Considering the strength of my base at the moment, probably not a big deal, but... Um, it's 
Let's have a big line pull up. Oop. Collecting enemies. So the next thing I need to do Research completed. Uh, liquid tech. Alien research. Okay, so I need to do that, then I need to add that. And that. Ooh, and there's probably one more. That one over there. I don't know how long I was sitting there. Maybe just a minute. I just... Ooh, look at me. So far, these have been pretty good. Oh, jeez. Mines. <laughs> I have a lot of mines at the moment, don't I? Now, let's see if I can do this before they kill me. Incoming. Three seconds, two seconds. Got a basic lamp. A new one. Let's go check that out. So, oh, this one. Oh, this one's lighter than the other one. Mm, yeah, I'll use that. Good stuff. Go ahead and add some more, more basic tiles around the stuff where I know where it's going to be. That's this. I'm not going to worry about cosmetics too much. I could spend forever doing that. But at least right here where it's going to be cool. Oh, this thing needs a little bit more power, doesn't it? Well, I can do that. But can I do it without breaking the game? Let's see. I'm a little worried about building power over here. It was just, it didn't work out well last time, so. I'll put it down over here. Warning, a hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. 
Not sure I'm gonna get the uh, luxury of waiting, so. Here we go with power. Next thing I need to do, I'm gonna find a spot where I'm gonna be building ammo factories. That's for rocket launchers, uh, things like that. Probably gonna go in here and replace a bunch of this stuff eventually with it. But right up here should be good. And then I'll need storage spots for that. So these build the, the ammo for your more advanced towers. Which do I have now? No, I don't have them on the researched yet, but that will be real handy once I get it. coming from down here is they gonna hit that spot or that spot research completed you know what I think I turned off notifications Audio alerts. All right, I'm going to turn it on. I know they're going to tell you you need steel a bunch of times, but iron deposit depleted. Carbonium deposit depleted. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Base is under attack. There you go. Now at least they won't sneak up on me. Deposit depleted. Carbonium deposit depleted. Ooh, not good. Base is under attack. Deposit depleted. We're okay. Took a little damage. Nothing too bad, though. I don't know why I went and repaired all that. I have a repair tower down here for that. So, some of this stuff is probably empty. Yeah, there we go. That makes this... Ooh... Pretty much pointless, <laughs> unless I, um, gosh, I can't even sell the resources because I have uh, no, not enough storage for it. So, that's what I need to focus on.
and a ridiculous amount of power. But you know what? I can go on over here if I wanted to. Just turn Wind this into a little down. power spot. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. And then take this. Just run it back to my base for now. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Power ran down. There is some other things I could do. Oh, plant biomass is one of them. That could help a little bit. See, I'm about to run out of battery power. I could also run out and just pick up carbonium, but it doesn't generate a lot of power for as much as it is it uses. Iron deposit depleted. The fog is clearing up. Let's put that back down over here. Just move it a little bit. See if I can do some more uh, crafting. Two of rocket launchers. I can do that. Can I do any of these? New. No. It'd be cool to do dash with fire. No, no, just moving through. Don't worry about me. That's nice. That's really what I need for Carbonium where I'm at right now, some geothermal. Build more storage facilities. How did I not hit this guy? Oh, hey. This is quite the spot here. I think I'll make it mine. What do you prefer? Shotgun? Missed me. These really are the easiest guys. Ow! <laughs> Step right into their AOE explosion. All right, but look at this iron spider. Yeah Plus it's like super easy to defend What a gift Steel storage is full build more storage facilities Not enough plant biomass. Oh, 
I'm gonna put a double wall down here just to defend this up. Just like that. I hear somebody out there doing something. I think they're fighting the other guys. Nothing personal. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. I need more AI brains. Looking forward to upgrading pieces so I don't have to keep slapping on more buildings. I do have a good amount of cobalt. This spot down here seems like it's just going to get attacked. Like, guaranteed. There we go. That's like a perfect spot. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Carbonium deposit depleted. Put that right there. Good. All right. I think this is the one that got depleted. There we go. Take it out of the way. Into the research. Do the alien. Oh yeah. Hey, look at this. Water. For mud. That is good. What am I missing here? I have the orbital scanner, I have that. I should have everything I need. Nope, guess I gotta upgrade the headquarters. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. Probably should have done this before I did that. Oops. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. <laughs> you want more towers, lady? More? I have so many. What do I have, 121 towers at this point? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're not all in the same spot, but... We're all right, I would hope. But you never know. Level three could bring some extra bad baddies. way to wake up. I mean, are they not all going to attack this spot down here? It seems like this is the spot. If you wanted more towers, you should get more towers. AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. I'll just put 
this right here. Sit back and lob me some grenades. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Point. Base is under attack. Yeah, that's doing pretty good. Let's check this one out. Oh. Looks like that's doing fine. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Hmm. Yeah, there's a blender. Oh, it's getting a little crazy up here. Destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Mm, Let's check this what's new. It's a little bit HD weak upgrade. here. The improved headquarters building can support more communication hubs. If we want to download new technologies faster, then we should construct as many of them as possible. See where they attacked me from right here. That spot was a little bit weak. But now, now I can do more research even faster. To do that research right here. Sorry, buildings, you're in the way. There was a bunch of my power storage right in the middle of the night. It's for the looks. Important. Oops. Oh, screw it up again. I might have put, I might have just, oh well. Don't worry about it, you saw nothing. Let's give the, oh, look at the fancy blue lights, those are cool. Time for more power? Probably time for more power. Warning! I'm detecting intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. Yeah, boy. Base 
face. Ooh. It's an earthquake. It's Mud. going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Crap. Luckily, I have repair towers over here. Lucky me. Build more storage facilities. That should be all right. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Base is under attack. Oops. Those are friendly. Well, this wasn't too bad. The earthquake is over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. Let's just see here. Yeah, you can see how I have repair idle. towers up there. Select new technologies for development. Made that nice and easy. I'm actually going to take back some of that cobalt. I just don't have a lot of it, so I kind of want to have some of it on hand if I want to build another repair tower somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and build the power out, gosh, to the right here, I guess. I was taking a look at this mud spot over here. That's good. Good resource. I might just expand the base all the way over here. Still pretty much the same amount of wall. I mean, a little bit more on top, but... Technically, I got some... A rock down below. Plus this lake. That makes all that pretty good. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Research completed. Yeah, there we go. Cool towers. Uh, level two mining. Cool. Oh, yeah. Ooh, gas power plant. That's what I need. Right there. That I would prefer to have before alien research. That actually would solve all of my power problems. I'm still going to claim this area over here. Iron deposit depleted. For Earth. Dun, dun, dun. not easy to make corners pieces. You kind of gotta do weird stuff. All right, so now I've got artillery towers. These are the ones that are really gonna help me kill things that happen to attack from a long ways away. Rocket towers, those actually do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's two area of effects, so can take down crowds of enemies, pretty good. Uh, the DPS, if we were to compare the normal tower that you're looking at as compared to this rocket, you don't account for the, uh, if you're just shooting at one enemy, it's only going to do, the rocket does 70 DPS, whereas the Sentinel is doing 45. So it's actually good for one target, but it, since it does splash damage, it's great for area of effect, wherever that might be useful. Since we're getting attacked down here so often, I will install a few of them. But they are more valuable, so I'm going to leave them back here.
Now, the artillery actually shoots a long distance. A total of 30 tiles. That actually outranges most things. Not everything, though. But that'll seriously upgrade my ability to defend this spot right here. Which again, since this is my most most southerly spot, I would expect that to get attacked a lot. But this is my most valuable spot up here. So if I have the AI cores, then I will expand it. What I need is power for those AI cores. And I'll have that power in a moment, once I can make use of this. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Put in some power just to store that stuff up. Try to get rid of a lot of that. Now, what's my plan for this spot? Good chance I get attacked in here. use of this rock just to kind of split the enemies bunch them up in a spot so that makes something like this really good Towers are kind of weak. You don't want them to get hit too much. So, loose objects are starting to fly. I have to be careful about that a little bit. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. Air tower right here, that's good. Then I can stack up my defense right in that corner. That's really what I want. Calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. So I think what I'll end up doing over here is actually converting this to a farm. You can actually do farming. So right now I'll just use it for power. But this looks like a good spot for it because we got the mud over there. That means I have access to water. Obviously, you need water for farming. But. It's gonna be a little bit before we're there. That's kind of a little bit more advanced stuff. Now, I don't wanna get relaxed here. This game could get really hard really quick, especially on Brutal. I don't know what they're gonna throw at me. So let's just keep building more wall, since I don't know what else to do. 
and more towns. When in doubt, build more gun. <laughs> it's always a good pastime in this game. I have never regretted having too much gun. Carbonium storage is full. We should Did I do the research for things. the sludge thing? I think I already did. Awesome. All right, let's go do that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's take our AI cores and find a spot for them. It's not a hole in the wall there. There's a hole. Stuff. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay, I'm a little bit low on power, but what I should have now is a liquid pump. Now these liquid pumps, they kind of have a range that is around them. So if you can place one down there, you might be able to get another one up here. However, these are vulnerable to attack, so it's a little bit annoying. Now there's some crap in the water. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Ah. I might have to just build the base beyond this little slime puddle here. Expand it down to the south. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to defend that too well. Ideally, it's a great spot for splitting up the enemies. What am I saying? Build more gun. Deposit depleted. that right here. Yeah, that cover most of it. So then I can fit that right there. Aha. Problems have been solved. Even the power is looking good. Cool. Uh, Okay, back to the liquid stuff. I'm gonna bring in two pumps. We have a total of 200 mud per second. So that's gonna bring in 100 mud. I'm not gonna worry about storing it. I don't need to worry about that, at least right here. Since I have only room for two pumps. We'll just do that. Now store the water. 
So here comes in the mud. This is actually one of those resources that you have to move from one spot to another. See, everything else was a global resource like this. Liquids are not that way. What am I doing? I'm doing the wrong thing here. A large group of creatures is gathering near our I want to do from sludge to gas. So that brings in 100 sludge each time. Wrong one. There we go. Bingo, bingo. Store fire over here. I think that'll automatically change. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Don't know. I'll have to come back and see. We're going to get attacked over here. We'll get to see this longer range stuff in action here. A new technology has been developed. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Yeah, I forgot about that. Guess I won't get a bunch of fire out of it. Firepower. Power. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that water. Oh wait, we got a mud above it. Never mind. Crazy. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Uh, I hear that a thousand times. Oh yeah, I like that. Good, good stuff there. Um, geothermal is good. Flamethrower is good. Radar is very helpful. All of this stuff is actually helpful. <laughs> uh, but the, probably the most important thing that I want is going to be for my character. That I'm gonna need. That's extra movement speed. It's extra force field. Make myself a little bit stronger. We're getting pretty close to the point where I'm gonna be going to the next planet, so. Make sure I have that on lockdown. See that? Nice. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. These spitters used to be in range. Now they're getting wrecked. By the way, your your mech can block bullets, so it's not good to stand in front of the towers if you can avoid it. So the rocket has a range of 17. Uh, whereas the sentinel has a range of 17. So these should activate first. Those should activate right behind it. With um, the artillery activated just after that. Ow. One thing that'll give yourself a little bit more range is if you have I think if you have a uh, radar, you can actually detect things sooner and therefore make more use of your longer range buildings. Uh, I 
construct the alien research building. Nope, you need to go in here. Carbonium deposit to alien research laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with a lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. Ashley, I've detected a small piece of comet entering the atmosphere close to our position. It is highly probable that it will land close to our base. And to make that look cooler. All right. Not enough AI cores. Sucking Build up the more mud. AI cores. The comet has a very interesting mineral composition. It has to bring in something valuable. I am tracking its landing location. And we got room for the next one. You can actually see the shadow there. See how that works? Build more storage facilities. So I can get three of those. <laughs> now, there is a limit to how much mud we can suck out of this, but it's not a completely limited resource. The comet has hit the ground. Ashley, I'll explain that better in a second. Area. So, what I'm trying to get at here is that there is a certain amount of mud down here, and you can't, so you can't just suck it all up forever and ever. It doesn't run out, but I think it only replenishes at a certain rate. So, I think... I, d I don't know what the capacity is, but we should be alright here until I start to really upgrade that, and then it might limit itself. By the way, where did that comet I've land? detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Developed. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Hmm. All right. Let me let me focus on one thing at, at a time here. We got three things to do at the same time. I want to process Alien this into water. Construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the Alien Research Laboratory using pipes finally the alien research lab is operational we can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna we can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment it's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research this is so exciting we can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to Ooh. minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. Right where it should be. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. Warning, a new group of hostile Jeez. creatures is- The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rift jump locations. The process will soon be completed. So, you, what the we can do here with this- geomapping procedure uh. finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. 
One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. All right, so we got some new the planets. Ah, oh, more talking. Covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Again. Already on it. But yeah, so the, the 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 cool thing about this is that we're going to be now going to new planets where we're going to be able to set up outposts in different locations. Storage buildings. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Has been developed. We're also going to be able to get more rare materials. One thing that I didn't explain to you, maybe, uh, it was a little bit mystery to me, is this thing. So what in the world am I doing with this thing? This thing is actually going out and you're learning about certain creatures. If you do this enough on certain creatures, you're going to learn about what they're weak to, um, what they're, um, you know, vulnerable to, I guess I already said that, <laughs> what, they're, what they're resistant to, how much health they have. And if you get smart enough about them, you actually start to do more and more damage to them and I think get more resource out of them. If you scan plants and stuff, you're going to learn about those plants. Quite useful. And Carbonium that will depleted. allow you to start to farm up those plants and things like that. So pretty handy. Because um, those will actually give off different resources. So new species to cover. So we can see that we know a little bit about uh, Kerman here. The poop monster. Um, and these guys right here. But we don't really know what they're weak against. Now... I know, because I took a bunch of screenshots from my other playthrough. <laughs> um, but uh, you also get different plants here, so it, it's worthwhile to scan things before you go and kill everything, in case you're wondering. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. And... Okay, so now we're, we've got nests. No, we just have, we just have the boss lady down here. Oh, the big creature, the big creature. We don't know it's a boss yet. Spoil that, sorry. Yeah! And I got my first weapon mod. Nice. So. That's another thing. We get, we're suddenly introduced to a whole bunch of things right at this point in the game. So now I've got weapon mods. So if I take this and once I craft weapons that are the next tier up, I actually start to modify my weapons. I can also put these on towers, which will give them various things, uh, various upgrades that are actually really useful. So plus damage, cluster projectiles. So when you hit something, it then fragments into pieces. Uh, splash damage, uh, more spread if you want to have a weapon have more spread. You know what? That might be useful for like... Mm, fire, actually, would be a good one. Like your flamethrower. Or projectiles per burst right there, so shotgun. Or something like that might give off more projectiles. Not every mod can put on every gun and, and whatnot, but you can the also do different damage types. Steel storage is full. 
build more storage facilities. However, those mods are a little bit more rare. The wind is much stronger so than usual. So I'm at three of five of fungus mushroom thing. Let's give me some more fungus mushroom thing. Maybe these are good. Gotta be a little bit careful when you get to the edge of the map over here. Obviously, it limits your movement. However, the enemies are still off the screen, so... Let's go find this boss creature. And I'm gonna set up a retreat location. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Ah, I think I found them. Hey, there's the big guy. This creature is extremely hostile. It can yeah. be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Don't want to get hit by that spit. Real bad. Efficiency returning to normal development. New buildings are available for construction. If I have a hammer, I haven't researched it yet, but I can stun this guy. There's different melee weapons. Not too hard once you know the patterns. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. Die. <laughs> These ones are have a lot of health. Now, one thing that would have helped me kill that boss a little bit faster. Um, probably would have been using fire. Kind of vulnerable to fire. The disadvantage, obviously, of using fire, at least in my opinion, is visibility. More storage facilities. And, uh, I could, I could do a lot of damage to me, so. Slow and steady, or going out with a ball of fire. Gosh, I got a lot of this slime on this map. That's good. Hey, did I ever plug in that power? Or did I get distracted? Ah, all right, so I've got fire and a can over here. Not surprised I got distracted. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. So what I want to use is gas power plant, this bad boy. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Thank you. Research completed. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let me just pick some stuff so we can focus on what we need to focus on. There you go. Uh, so, hmm, <laughs> storage containers. We're gonna move those over here. We can rotate and make them look cool. I don't think that was worth it. That was probably a bad trade. I probably just nuked a lot of resources there. My bad. I should have put the gas power plant put down first. Let me go find a spot to put down some big storage. Thing is, I, I built up mining so much 
Carbonium deposit depleted. I'll have to upgrade some other ones and then come back to that. So, each one of these is putting out 25 gas per second. This thing consumes 50. So I only have enough for one right now. But I think I will be able to scale that up. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space right here for another one. decorated with some plants. There you go. More eco-friendly with our gas burner. High efficiency. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh da -da -da -da. My floor tile's looking just right. It's wallpaper all, all over again. Blast! Okay, not that I have enough to run both of them, but whatever. Whoa, why is that over there? Don't ask. Don't, I now don't know why. Use the orbital scanner interface to jump. To a different location. All right, so we have moved on to the point of actually moving on to our next location. So that's pretty cool. Which is what we're going to ha uh, do next time. So I think this is where I'm going to end this episode here. Creatures are Never mind. <laughs> After we slaughter some more bugs, then I'll do it. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Ooh, about almost three hours. That make for quite an episode. It's all good though. Here I was only expecting to play the game for like an hour. <laughs> Next thing Our you know, you've been here for three hours. You construct more storage buildings. It's the way this happens. Like every base building game, it's the same. You just... Time just flies away. Alright, I really need to unlock level 2 tech as well. Because as much as I love building buildings, I've got AI cores everywhere. What am I up to? 172 towers? <laughs> you can count the towers per hour at this rate. Right, come here, I need to test this. A new hey. technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Oh, by the way, I've got some new upgrades from my character. Let's do that. Crafting completed. And reflective armor. Crafting completed. I might have already done that. Titanium machinery. Crafting completed. Jeez, maybe I didn't even do that. Um, you can stack different ones, by the way. You don't need to. I think you can actually.
but this is the one I wanted. So building speed is gonna be a little bit better, a little bit cool, better cooldown on my skills, but plus 1.5 kilometers per hour. That's really handy, especially when we get into areas where some creatures might be moving a little bit faster, plus more health. See that? See how the, the range of your artillery is such that they can't even attack the tower without getting hit. But if there's heavy guys in front of them, then the artillery tower goes for that. So they can still, you can still get hit by things that are far back. But the key is you can overcome their, these guys and just keep them away. There's some, there's some tricks you can do. Or you could just be a person like me who just runs out and meets the enemy New head on. Are available for development. Oh, they're throwing poop monsters at me. There's a trick with the mud you can do. It's really tricky. Um, since they don't run through it, but <laughs> I consider that one to be a little bit cheaty. Let's see how this goes. is under attack. So you can see the artillery still firing close by. The trick is if you can get that artillery over here or something, then it's going to focus on the range. But since we're also getting attacked on this side too, this one has to piss this guy off. Yeah. We still got some interesting, very long range enemies coming in. Oh, they did kill one tower. Yeah. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Research completed. Hmm. There we go. Level two walls. Level two AI. Level two storage stuff. That'll help me reduce a lot. Oh yeah, there we go. More mining synthesizers. Those are really good. So at uh, next time when we get into this, oh, whatever, I'll talk about it next time. <laughs> you got to turn the game off at some point. <laughs> uh, but until, just, just keep clicking. Oh, I don't need to do all those. Anyhow, since we're talking about ranged enemies, I noticed there was some bogs. They must be dead. Never mind. False alarm. All right, that's it. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Riftbreaker. I would say I'm off to a significant start, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, what happens when we go to the next planet now, which by the way is over here. You can see we got radioactive, acidic, volcanic planets. Yes, that'll be cool stuff. We'll go see what that has to offer and see what nasty things await me there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, guys. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brotgar out. All right.